develop this pitcher for you? What, what kind of turned things around? Mm, I want to say Coach Johnson probably turned me around. You know, ever since I knew he was going to be the coach, I, I was still position player at the time, but I think he kind of turned me around. Just like I really liked what an analytics and what was coming around in baseball pitching wise. I kind of just jumped on board with it and just kind of like took off from there. I mean, you're throwing in the high 90s. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you do that coming off Tommy John surgery? Really good doctor, Dr. Arnold. I can, he just did a major job with my UCL repair and I took um, rehab very serious, you know, every single day, no days off, and honestly, hard work does pay off, so. What about the uh, composure of Nolan and uh, Wicklander's freshman last weekend? Amazing. I mean, there's not much you can say about that, is that those two freshmen are, are like acting like big leaguers right now, and it's amazing for us, because we have such a bull deep bullpen, and to have those freshmen go like six or seven on the weekends against this type of competition is amazing. <clears throat> Cody, you probably only touched on it, but when you saw your name go up on the board, mm -hmm. or off the board, that is, the Red Sox, what do you think? Oh, surreal. It was amazing, to be honest. You know, like I was saying earlier, I mean, you dream of this as a kid. You know, as soon as you start playing baseball, travel ball, I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to get drafted. You want to make it in the majors. And that came true for me yesterday, getting drafted. So it's just been amazing lately. Anything particular about the Red Sox that you, that you grew up liking a certain team? Or? Uh, I, I like the Red Sox. Me and my grandma, she was a Yankees fan, and I was a Red Sox fan. So we always butt heads back and forth. But she's happy for me. <laughs> Like the dish, because you started out in the starting rotation, and you get hurt, mm -hmm. and you come back in the bullpen. Was that tough, or was it easy to? Uh, it was kind of easy, you know. I was a bullpen guy last year, you know, so I just kind of glued into that um, position, like I did last year, and just my velo's been up, and everything's just been a little bit better ever since I came back from like that little bicep tendonitis, and so like I just kind of like stuck to my role in the bullpen. Feel your stamina is back where it was. Oh when yeah, you were starting. For yeah, sure. Yeah, I think so. You talked about your journey, like. Mm -hmm. Playing infield, Tommy John. How important is it that you were doing that in a Razorback uniform as a local kid? It's amazing. I mean, Bentville, Bentville football and all the head coaches there still always tweet at me and stuff like that. And so, like, just having Bentville support is just amazing right up the road. And so, I just I love them. They're, they're just amazing. Cody, what's it like facing Ole Miss? You guys had so many mm -hmm. tight games with them, but so many veteran hitters for them, guys like Kessinger and Dillard. Yeah, I mean, one thing, I mean, it's just about having fun now. You know, we played them five times. We're about to play them seven or eight more. I mean, seven or eight times. And so, like, it's just going to be nothing special. You know, we've already had the scouting report on them. They've already had the scouting report on us. We know who they're pitching. We know who they're hitting. So now it's just about going having fun, to be honest, you know. When you look at the scope of their team and, and the fact that they got good pitching as well. I mean, I have the Nikhazy. They've got Etheridge, but you guys bring it as well. I mean, and just the way you guys try to counter that, because it seems like they're clicking, you guys are clicking. It wasn't just the starters for you guys last week, but your bullpen's going. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a great weekend, to be honest. Like you said, we're, both the teams are clicking. They wouldn't be clicking if we weren't they, we weren't in this position. So it's just going to be a fun weekend of baseball, that's for sure, especially in this atmosphere. It's been like throwing to Opitz after following Grant Cook. He's amazing. I mean, he makes us look really good. To be honest, he makes us look really good. <laughs> I noticed the coaches that the two guys they talked about the most it seemed like were Fletcher and Opitz as far mm -hmm. as their impact on the game, whether they you know get a hit or not. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's what I think them two do great about is that like they don't take their like hitting to the field. If that makes sense. So like uh, Opitz, if he has a bat at bat, he just like doesn't he shakes it off and like goes out there and he's like blocking every ball in the dirt, making pitches 50-50, and it's just he just they just both do an amazing job like that pointed that there aren't any night games for the Super Regionals. Mm -hmm. Is that something you guys think about, or do you prefer night games over day games? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't prefer I don't prefer anything, to be honest. Just whenever, they, whenever time we play is what time we play. You know, I don't really think about the time. How did it feel to get drafted yesterday? <sighs> Surreal. I mean, uh, you dream as a little kid, and when you start playing Little League ball at, like, 13 or 14, you know, you dream about getting drafted. And finally, it came true last night, so it's just been amazing ever since. And talk about the Ole Miss, and they kind of had you guys a number the last couple of years in terms of winning series. You guys have obviously won some games, following yeah. tight. Um, what do you make of that rivalry, and what's it like playing them again? I mean, I just know it's going to be an amazing atmosphere this weekend. I mean, both teams are clicking right now, or else we wouldn't be in this position. Um, there's not much about it, just like we played each other five times, so we know everything about each other. Uh, we know who they're going to pitch. We know who they're going to hit. So now I honestly think it's just about going having fun and playing baseball. You think that familiarity is something that is an advantage to either team, or uh, 
I think it's just an even push, like I said. Like, I mean, I think it's just about literally just going to play nine innings of baseball. You know, you don't have to worry about who's this guy they're about to bring in because we probably already know and like everything about them, you know. So I think it's just an even push, to be honest. And Coach Van Horn mentioned after the regional win, mm -hmm. you guys were kind of business-like in your celebration. Um, he talked about the baseball culture here at Arkansas really growing and mm -hmm. obviously that being an expectation to be here. What have you seen from the Arkansas baseball culture in your time as a Razorback? It's, like you said, it's a business. You know, I mean, we expect us to go to the College World Series every single year. You know, we expect us to make it to the Super, and so we made the regional. I mean, it was business-like. I mean, we're not done, if that makes any sense. So it's very business here. And then um, what sort of message would you have for the fans going into the final series here at Bomb Walker this weekend? It's going to be electric. I'm, I'm excited for them. I mean, they're the best fans in college baseball, so I'm pumped up. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Losing that series to Ole Miss earlier in the season, did that mm -hmm. kind of give you guys a little extra push? Uh, mm, I would say no, not really. I mean, like I was saying to him, I mean, it's just an even push, to be honest. You know, we, we've played each other five times, about to be seven to eight times, and so, like, now it's about go having fun. I mean, we know everything about them. They are they know everything about us. So it's about having fun right now. So who was the first phone call when you got drafted? Oh, <laughs> it was my mom. <laughs> yeah. She asked if I was going to take it. I was like, well, of course I'm going to take it. <laughs> it was just kind of a funny conversation. And then I called my dad, and then he he's like, I'll call you back. I'm like, what do you mean you call me back? He's like, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to listen. I'll call you back. And so he just basically hung up on me. And so I was just... So it was, it was my mom, my first phone call. So seeing so many of your other teammates get drafted mm -hmm. as well, what do you think that says about this team? I mean, it's just, it just shows like what we can develop, you know, as like the coaches are amazing here. It's really, it's an amazing program, you know. I mean, my excitement yesterday, I mean, just knowing that everyone who got drafted yesterday has the same excitement, just, it's just amazing.